after completing my uh, my collection that I that I now have of uh, Angel Dust, uh, Fat Nuggets, Solus, and Octavia, and a little bit of Moxie for my boy, I uh, I, I got a little curious <laughs> to see just just how much did I spend on this? Like I know how much time I spent on it because I started back in around 2020 Halloween, and uh, <laughs> so I uh, I began to calculate all the. Uh, the money that I could to the best of my ability, some of it probably excluding uh, shipping and tax and whatnot, and uh, it was alarming <laughs> the amount of money that I've spent. I could have, like, uh, probably in most states, that's probably like half rent for like an apartment. So, uh, <laughs> needless to say, uh, I have a problem. <laughs> But it also got me thinking, like, uh, like this is just how much it was, like, for me. Like, I'm not gonna say the amount because <laughs> it, uh, it hurt my my soul. <laughs> but uh, it got me curious if, if, um, like, if someone else collected this the same stuff I did, would it be that much? Would it be less? Would it be more? What if they collected other characters beside this? Would it be way less? Would it be way more? So curiosity got the best of me. So. I started researching the uh, the Vizzy Pop merch collection of the characters. So it intrigued my interest of how much money would it be to collect like the the pins, the, the lanyards, pins, standees, lanyards, keychains, and mugs of these characters. Just out of curiosity. And uh <laughs> I kind of like. I honestly, I was curious about like Luna and Charlie and, and Alistair because they're very popular characters, so they make a lot of merch of them because that makes them the most money. So I got curious of different characters. So to get myself into this this, uh, this uh, thing that I'm doing now, I decided to tackle a very easy character for a first time beginner doing this, and that is uh, we're gonna be talking about Cherry Bomb. <laughs> She's one of the main characters in Hasbro Hotel. Um, I don't really know that much lore about her because I've only watched the pilot. I didn't really investigate her character. I just know that she has some kind of backstory that was hinted at during the Attic music video. She's characterized as a Cyclops demon, and she is best friends with Angel Dust, one of the main characters. Uh, she did get a cool redesign, which I, d I did kind of like, and a um, and I don't know if she'll be a like a main character. Or she'll be a supporting character in the actual show when it ever comes out. But uh, I'm very excited to see her on the big screen. Which uh, got me wondering, if you're a fan of Cherry Bomb, what kind of merch are you collecting? How much merch of Cherry Bomb is there out there? And how much would it cost for you to collect it, starting from today? Or at least mid-September of 2023, because maybe there's more out there now. Maybe you're watching this in the future. Maybe some of this is out of date. <laughs> But this is, as of today, how much would it be to collect every single Cherry Bomb merch and dice that is available on the Shark Robot website? Now, <laughs> speaking of Shark Robot, I highly recommend checking that first. If you're collecting any character, always check the Shark Robot website first. It is the official site for all Busy Pop merch for Hasbro Hotel, Hell Boss, and some of the other uh, shows that she made, like uh, Zoophobia. So I highly recommend before scoping out like eBay and Macari, checking out Shark Robot to see what you can get for like from the actual people. That way you're supporting the show directly, and maybe some of your items are on sale instead of going to a scalper and paying two hundred dollars. <laughs> so let's start off with the Shark Robot website. For right now, there are six items on the Shark Robot website that are Cherry Bomb related that are still available and it goes as following. All right, so the uh, available six things that are still available for Cherry Bomb and Shark Robot website are the cute pinup Cherry Bomb acrylic keychain, pinup Cherry Bomb number two, Cherry Bomb acrylic keychain, summer Cherry Bomb acrylic keychain, swimsuit Cherry Bomb number two, and pinup Cherry Bomb number three. So that's three keychains and three pins. And I put them in my cart, and this will all vary depending on where you live because of shipping and tax for your state, because they're shipping mainly from Utah. So, but my total ended up being uh, subtotal was forty-four seventy. 
So expect that to be like maybe plus 10, plus 20, maybe plus 5, depending on where you live. So also just keep that in mind when you order from Shark Robot. The shipping can be a little pricey. So yeah, do your best at that. <laughs> now for the rest of the items, unfortunately, they're no longer sold on the Shark Robot website, either because they've been retired or they were limited edition and just sold out. So unfortunately, now we're going to have to go second hand. <laughs> And un unfortunate as it is, there are scalpers in the community that like to scam fans. So I would be a little wary from buying from secondhand. Please make sure you are reading the item description of these items before you give them your credit card information or debit card information and, and buying it. That way you're not getting scammed and you're getting a fair price for this stuff. And. I would recommend for the two sites that I usually use for collecting my stuff that I have is eBay and Macari. Maybe for first time buyers, I recommend Macari because they don't have a bidding system and it feels more personal with the, uh, the seller. That way, if you do have questions about the items, I feel like it's easier to get, to get questions answered from them. There's a writing system. So if you open your package and it's not what you expected at all, and there's an issue, then the seller doesn't get paid right away because you have to open it and confirm that that's the right thing before they get paid. So I kind of recommend that. Maybe for if you know what you're looking for and you're very detailed about it, then eBay. But both websites are good to keep open mind just in case like one has something and one doesn't. So I recommend both sides. Now keep in mind for this, since I am a, I prefer using Macari. I have a lot of <laughs> fun price range data from Macari, so just keep that in mind. eBay usually shoots up their prices more, so just keep that in mind for this. <laughs> but uh, let's get into the standees. So for Cherry Bomb, two standees were made for her. You have her limited run one of just her, and then you have the Valentine's Day Cherry Bomb. So let's talk about the first one. All right, so the first Cherry Bomb standee we're gonna talk about, it was first made on November 5th, 2022, and it was just the normal uh, cherry bomb stand, which is featured here. And um, it, unfortunately, it was limited to run, so only one, like, uh, it was a one-time thing. Once it sold out, it was gone. Uh, there are still some available. Uh, according to the price ranges that I was able to find, um, there was only one available on, e like, on eBay, and that was $100. <laughs> Maybe there'll be more in the future. Uh, this is just what was available at the time of researching all this. So maybe you'll find one for less. Maybe there'll be more money. So just keep that in mind. All right, and then that last Sandy was the Cherry Bomb Valentine's Day one. I believe it was called the Pin Up Cherry Bomb. And that was released on February 13th of, 20, of 2023. And uh, that one was first to sell out, but they, they are still available and uh, pretty cheap for a limited edition standee for her. So I'm very surprised. I found four different ones and the price ranges were listed right here with the four items I was able to find on Makari. It was ranging between $50 and $99. So just keep that in mind when you're looking for that one. All right, and then that was all the standees that was ever made for Cherry Bomb. There will be more in the future, but that's as of today, that's all of them. So to finish off the keychains that she has, there's only one that we had to look for for second seller. And that is the, the pinup cherry bomb keychain as pictured here with the two prices I would defined. Surprisingly, it was cheap, even though it was like the first ever time that they made keychains for the for Vizipop, but they were listed for 33 and one for 34. Maybe it'll be a bit lower, maybe a bit higher. It all depends on which website and who's, who you're buying it for. So keep that in mind. All right, and then the last thing that Cherry Bomb has is pins. Now, some of these pins were released early on, like 2019, 2020. So some of these pins might be overly pricey because that's just what scalpers do. So uh, just keep that in mind that they might shoot up. Well, we'll start off with an easy one for right now, one that most likely won't break the bank because it was sitting on the website for a while before it even sold out. And that is the swimsuit cherry bomb. Now, I believe it was the, the yeah, swimsuit cherry bomb number one. And I found five and it ranged from $7 to 30. So 
she's... I guess that one didn't wasn't very popular, so... But hey, that's a win for you guys <laughs> if you want to go grab that one. Alright, the one that's probably going to be the most pricey is the Set Pin uh, Addict. And that will be featuring Cherry Bomb and Angel Dust. Now, some sellers might sell this as like a whole set. You can't, only, you can't ask for individual. It has to be sold both. Sometimes the seller does sell them separately. So it all depends. If, if you want like the whole set, go for it. If you just want Cherry Bomb, go for it. You know, everyone has their own preference with stuff. So by Cherry Bomb by itself, it ranges. I found one as cheap as 40 before. And then for the whole set, I found them as $125. So just keep that in mind when you're looking. It all depends. Do you want the whole set or do you just want Cherry Bomb? Keeping on to the attic theme, we have what was released in spring of 2022 was an attic Cherry Bomb glitter pin. Now, Angel Dust also had one. They were sold separately, not as a set, but they did kind of go together. So if you want the whole set, then Angel Dust ones are out there, but if you're just looking to get Cherry Bomb, surprisingly, even though it was limited edition, she sold out first before Angel Dust did, they're still pretty cheap. Where on McCarty, I had found three listed between 28 and 50. So, <laughs> next we're getting into the Black Friday ones. That is going to be the Die Struck pins, and then the Full Body Gold that was released around the end of November of 2021. Now, I couldn't find any McCarty. eBay had some, and I found two listed on eBay. Surprisingly cheap. I guess people thought they were gonna sell out super quick, they bought them and then they sat for a while, so they just knocked the price down. So here's the ones that were listed. Keep those prices in mind when you go search. And then on McCarty, I was able to find the full body gold ones as well, released around that same time. And here's those ones listed here. They were pretty cheap like between 10 and 20, so that's a pretty good deal. <laughs> All right, the next Cherry Bomb pin that was released was in July of 2019, and that was, it, it was a headshot of her, and then there was a couple of other ones that came out around that time, so since that was like the first ever Cherry Bomb, they might be very expensive. So, but the ones that I found were already sold out, which I would recommend the range being maybe 10 to 14, like 10 to 40, depending on who's selling it, to be honest. They might be as high as like 100 because they're technically considered retired and will never come back. And then we have the pinup Cherry Bomb. This was the first ever Valentine's Day of Cherry Bomb. So unfortunately, I could not find one that was sold or was still on sale on eBay or Macari. But I did find other ones from that collection being sold between 70 and 150. So I would recommend if you are looking for that pin, just keep those price ranges in mind. Because if that if the other ones from that collection are being sold for that, Cherry Bomb's also gonna be sold for that as well. And the last one for the pin collection it was actually really hard for me to find like anything of. I, while I was searching for a different pin, I found it. But when I searched for the actual pin, I didn't. So <laughs> It was the Chibi Cherry Bomb, which features Little Chibi and her in a heart, which came out in a, a bunch of other characters as well. So this one was pretty hard to find. I Maybe it's rare in the community now to find her in this pin form, but the one that I found was sold for $25, so maybe a range, but like as that is the median. Well, that was not the last pin. I skipped one by accident. I apologize. <laughs> The last one is the Portrait of Cherry Bomb. Now, this was released in Halloween around the same time that Stolas Portrait Pin was also sold, so expect it to be very pricey. Even though I've seen Cherry Bomb uh, Portrait Pins sell as much as nifty ones around like the $50 mark, unfortunately I couldn't find one that was sold or being sold, so I just keep those ranges in mind. Expect it to be between 50 and 100. All right, after calculating all the ranges that I think that these, the pins, standees, and keychains would be, I've come up with a range of how much this shit would probably cost. And that would be between on the low end, $471, to in the high end, $848 for every piece of merchandise of pins, keychains, and 
candies that feature Cherry Bomb. Now, this only calculate like I'm only going to be looking at the pins, standees, keychain, lanyards, mugs, and such for this, and also plushies. So, if you are looking to get the play mats, more power to you. I just didn't think they were that important. <laughs> Same thing with some other ones like posters and whatnot. So, just keep that in mind. If you want to go out and get those items and you find them out, go for it. If you if that's what would make the collection more to you. You might be able to find these on the cheaper end than what I found. It all really depends. You Sometimes you just have to be on eBay or Macari at the right time, you know, when someone randomly decides, like, they're getting rid of all their has -been hotel stuff, and boom, Cherry Bomb has just happened to be in the collection. You might also find these way higher than I listed the ranges, but these are all estimates, so don't take my word as gospel. I'm just trying to help if anyone's like, I want to collect this pin. Just expect, like, maybe that be your your guide of what to expect. That way you're not shocked when you see the uh, the prices the way they are. I recommend for eBay and Macari to have, like, when you do sign up and get an account from them, have a safe search for Hasbin Hotel and Hell of a Boss. That way when people upload pins and stuff, you'll get notified that there's new items. That way you'll know and look through the list and see if any of that is like what you're looking for. Makes it easier to find stuff, honestly. Because I found more stuff for Cherry Bomb under the Hasbin Hotel tag than I did looking up Cherry Bomb. So I'll just keep that in mind. And also keep the Hell Boss one as well. Even though Cherry Bomb is not in that show at all, sometimes people just spam tags or forget tags. So since the two shows are kind of very intertwined. It just makes it easier. Also, I recommend for merchandise, uh, keeping a close eye on the Shark Robot website, because sometimes they'll come back with random items and put them on the shop. Also, if you're gonna try to keep up to date with all the new stuff, I recommend subscribing to Vizzy Pop's channel for when she does merch announcements. Also, uh, following the Twitter page, uh, I think it's Helloverse for merch updates because now they're doing smaller ones that don't fit like the like the big announcement video so maybe they'll release some cherry bomb stuff so make sure you follow them on there for merch updates and whatnot but for now that's gonna do it that is every piece of merch that has cherry bomb on it and how much it would cost now this was <laughs> very fun to do because it, it was nice to see like how much my, all my shit costs so now you know if you want to collect some cherry bomb stuff there, there you go. There's your price range. I would just recommend just be responsible with the money that you're going to be spending. Don't don't just spend $400 all at once. So, sometimes it's, it's easier to be patient because sometimes the, like, the seller will drop the item and the item price and you'll get it cheaper than what you were expecting. So just be patient. You don't have to get the whole collection in one go. This took me years, and I finally just completed it, and I just gotta keep up to date with all the new stuff, so... I mean, it's gonna be a journey. But it's not about the destination, it's about the ride. <laughs> if you want to see me do different characters and seeing how much it would be to collect the collection of them, um, leave down below in the comments of which character you think I should do next. And please don't say Luna, because I'm already overwhelmed by the 52 items that are already on that Shark Robot website, and I know there's way more to come, so... But we can start off with easier ones like Striker, Stella, Vox, and whatnot, so we'll try. Maybe I can do some of the ones that are in my collection to kind of show you guys as well. So, I guess I'll see you guys later. Bye! <laughs>